100.9 Creek Girl Music Room Radio. Creekside Mornings, Tony and Charles. That is Petty and the Heartbreakers, American Girl. We just went through the list of words we can't say on the air. Yeah. By saying them all. We did. Just got them all out of our system. So now we're squared away. We're good now. Alex Von Coitel and Sean Lynch know Mm -hmm. those words. Yeah. Now let's play the intro, Charles. From Alex Von Coitel, The Voice. Alex Von Coyle, Does Sean voice, know that he forces voice, us to play this Alex for him? Von Coyle, I'll voice, tell him. Oh. Voice, 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 so awkward. <laughs> he forces us to do that, Sean. Good morning, That's Alex. Right. How are you, sir? Good morning. I'm ready to go. Good morning, to go. Good morning to go. Alex. <laughs> now, uh, Sean, I'm just going to give you a little background. Sometimes, uh, you know, when people are uh, wanting to have a, uh, a nice romantic evening, you know, they've got their lady and they've maybe made dinner, mm. um, you know, nice, nice um, a baked salmon. Yeah. Um, something nice. Some asparagus. Candlelight. Yeah. That kind of a thing. A little bit of rosé. You know, they'll throw on some uh, they'll throw on some romantic music. Yeah. Something yeah. like, uh, let's see, uh-huh. let's see if I can find a uh-huh. good romantic tune that they one. would play. One like oh, uh, is it is it there? Is it, well, is it yeah, it's is, is it's, it it's is, coming, is, Charles. Is it Thank you. I mean, uh, just, you know. Thank you. Uh, Mm-hmm. YouTube commercials. Yeah, I yeah, gotta love them. Maybe this. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I've been really trying, baby. Bring them lights That's out Alex singing, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> All right, you do a good, you do a good Marvin Gaye that play. So long. Just like him. Not Alex. Mm-hmm. Alex. Alex insists on playing this. From yeah, because we heard. Yeah. Yeah. The flashing voice, lights voice, and things, smoke yeah, machines voice, come yeah, out. Yeah, and, yeah, you know. we're, we're, still working on, we're still working on getting all that stuff in for, for line change. <laughs> yeah, it just, it just happens. Yeah. It just oh, so how are you, man? I'm good. We're uh, really excited after what happened this past weekend. We oh. definitely we needed a weekend like that. Two for great sure. games, man. I said Friday night, one of the most exciting hockey games I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I think it, it was, honestly, and at least in terms of, uh, you know, since I've been here, I think it was the best, like, most exciting third period that I've seen since I started doing this job here. And it seems like, um, correct me if I'm wrong, again, I'm trying to learn the finer nuances He's of a hockey, hockey novice. Sean, uh, but it seems like the third period has been a struggle at times mm-hmm. for the mayhem. Mm-hmm. So to see that third period Friday night and – the the absolute just energy yeah. and determination out of the team was phenomenal. Yeah, it speaks to the resilience of this team. We were down one nothing, came back, down three one, came back, down four three, came back, mm. overcame three different comebacks, and ended up winning five four. Mm. Um, mm. So much fun! Four goals in the third period that wow. we scored. So wow, just no quitting this team, and it really showed on Friday night. All right, I'm gonna ding the bell. Yeah, for that, that. yeah that's 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 good enough. And uh, <laughs> since since we're past car line, we're not gonna destroy anything for the kids. No. I will say that Anthony was playing the Grinch Friday night. Okay. <laughs> now there was a point. Okay, now hold on. Now wait a minute. <laughs> yes, Anthony Ennis was in the like Grinch in a costume. Grinch costume. Yes, in a Grinch. I've got a photo, Charles. Like, Alex. oh, I'm gonna need that for Black and Mild, baby, because I need I need some Photoshop done to that. It's like that is that mm, is. I will show you guys this photo. I don't know if you got to see the oh. Grinch costume. Alex, there you go. Charles. Oh, my Lord. Sean. Yeah, that's Anthony. Now, Anthony P. N. It's okay. At one point, the eye in the head of the costume came out, and it was wedged between the costume head and Anthony's cheek. Oh, no. So Anthony's covering his eye, the eye hole, yeah. with the Grinch hand and couldn't see anything. And he's trying to tell Zach, Zach, I can't see the eye has fallen out. So, yeah, that was... Uh, that was fun. Mm-hmm. Man, mm-hmm. Lot of fun. Yeah, those are the those are the cool little side stories that I never hear about. <laughs> yeah, up so the you, box. you're up top. You guys are are on uh, the back ice. in the locker yeah. room. Yeah. You, yeah. you don't get these side stories. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you hear that stuff though. Saturday wow. night was another big night. Dude, what's though. going on with our like Mac got decapitated last week. <laughs> Sean, uh, the Grinch is losing an eye. <laughs> what's happening? What are y'all here? doing down there? And, and all I could do is stand there and awkwardly watch. I'm like, what is happening here? <laughs> Mac's head has fallen off. There goes Mac. He left his head he on the ice. What is going on here? Yeah, you missed that too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh was. wow, that was wow. a rough one. Let's wow. talk about Saturday. Saturday. Good idea. Uh, because, <laughs> as we limp along here, uh-huh. uh, Saturday, teddy bear toss, which first goal, you throw your teddy bears out. Mm-hmm. It, that that wasn't happening. Right. But it was a defensive game Saturday night. Yeah. A lot it, of good defense. It was. Um, it was our first shutout. Um, 
this season. And Kevin Entma, he was our goaltender who got yeah, the shutout. Yeah. It was his first shutout with the team, uh, first pro shutout, so it was a huge night for him, 26 saves. But he'd be the first to tell you that a shutout is a team effort. It's not just one player stopping the yeah. puck. It's a complete, you know, everybody buys in. And Coach Michael told me before the game started that he was he didn't care if he bored everyone to death. He wanted to force Quad City away from their game and make them dump the puck in from mm. the neutral zone. Yeah. Because their game involves, you know, generating speed and gaining the offensive zone and getting scoring chances. So he forced them dump, to dump and chase and um, kind of forced them out of their element a little bit. And even though that might have hindered us a little bit from scoring goals, it definitely took their it took game them away completely from, out of theirs. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so we get down to the third period. Score 0-0. Zero, zero. No teddy bears have been tossed People just wait. Point. Just I think Ashley said she was losing her mind. Yeah, people were getting restless. There were there were people clutching teddy bear legs, leg all sweaty and everything, just waiting to throw it. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Until. Nothing. Mm -hmm. About eight minutes to go. Mm. Nothing. Mm. And then, Sean, I'm going to turn it over to you. What happened? Well, I think I kind of just caught a lucky break. Um, caught a late line change uh, for who I was taking off the ice, and uh, I was fortunate enough to just step on, and Cam kind of – pick up the puck from right inside of our, front of our net and I just kind of went and screamed and I was I just tossed me the puck and he sauced it through the air and caught it set it down and went in on a breakaway um, mm. kind of my go-to move I'd say on a breakaway um just kind of fake shot forehand back in five hole um and it, Ended up Do you know anything he just said? That's I know he's got a top secret move. <laughs> that's not a secret <laughs> but, but, anymore. But you missed the whole one. Okay. In layman's terms, it went through the goalie's legs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the five <laughs> hole. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. That's there we go. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. Yep. So I kind of, I definitely kind of blacked out. Don't really remember the whole thing, but it was, I just remember looking around and seeing all the teddy bears flying. And it was probably one of the coolest things that's happened to me since I've been playing. So. Wow. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. awesome. Jesus, take the stick. Yeah. <laughs> Sean just completely right. blacked out yeah. on that one. I mean, that was a highlight reel goal, regardless of whether it's a teddy bear toss goal. Yeah. I mean, Cam probably floated it, I'd say, 20, 25 feet in the mm. air over the Quad City defense. And Sean was kind of behind enemy lines after the line change and gloved it down, settled it. And came in on a breakaway that move is it's not easy the five hold usually there's, there's not, not a lot of space there's not a lot of room you, know, you got to be pretty confident to yeah. attempt that so wow it was just a great goal all around also i think i just blacked out while you were saying that i lost all of that <laughs> i don't know what yeah. any of that meant sean where are you from <laughs> uh just outside of syracuse new york and i tell okay Cole, now Camillus, new york, i'm from so. syracuse so i get you see that's the reason why he's great at hockey right on all right, well, great just, people are born out there y'all just bond then there I mean, you go that, there's, that happened there yeah. so uh we were wondering can we actually um change Sean's name on the back of his jersey to Mr. Teddy Bear Toss. Can we do that for the next game? Is that possible? I'll tech with uh, Evan Watts, our equipment manager. Also, I think I have an idea. I need um, Mac and Sean to now do a Christmas special called Sean Saves Christmas um, because of the way he saved the Teddy Bear Toss. Uh, I think, that, I, I think there's a Christmas special. Can Rankin Bass do that one? I think yeah. I, I think they'll, they'll do a great job. Total claymation. Uh-huh, yeah. It's a good idea. So let's, uh, yeah. let's talk about the jersey auction Saturday night because that mm -hmm. went down. The PS jerseys were awesome. Yeah. yeah, they were really photos. good jerseys. Mm -hmm. uh, but mentally, Sean, I want to ask you this question: When you're wearing the specialty jerseys and you're outside of your your you know usual warrior gear when you're on the ice, does it change your attitude a little bit? Um, a little bit. You know, I think uh, just one of those games you just really want to enjoy. Um, teddy bear toss. Anytime around Christmas, there's always those kind of specialty games, and um, it's really exciting just to kind of see what the head office comes up with in terms of kind of putting the jersey together and you know we saw it leaked on twitter a couple of days before the game and we all were kind of like i can't wait to wear those those are awesome so cool. yeah they were really cool um, i didn't know if it made you feel less aggressive on the ice no, wearing no. snoopy on your jersey <laughs> yeah, no, i, I think, know if that was the case i think it kind of just uh pushes us a little harder you know you want to win those specialty games yeah, yeah. when you're in those jerseys so, yeah um you know we wore the camo against evansville we got to win that weekend, you know, it just kind of... It's because he couldn't see you. Yeah. Well, that's what it's for. It. I that mean, you know... It. Total camouflage. Yeah. By the way, the Grinch is here. Good morning, Anthony. How are you? <laughs> Anthony, they put you in the Grinch uniform, baby. Oh. We'll talk to Anthony about his yeah. missing eye in a little bit. Lost an eye and everything. Still, but, uh, still trying to advocate for the Arctic camo. Hasn't happened yet, but... Mm. Oh, that'd be really cool. I know. I mean, now, I know that January 11th is the Marvel jersey night. That's coming up, and I kind of get a little sneak peek of the design. They're, they're very cool. You're going to dig that one. Yeah, that's awesome. You're going to hate to auction that one off. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I will. Yeah, yeah that one's going to be a tough one to give up. We've got two games this weekend, yes. uh, Friday and Saturday night. Friday, puck drops 730 against the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs. It is Max's birthday party. Five years? 
Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Five years yep. old. Mm. Five With years facial old. hair. They grow up so fast. <laughs> they do, don't they? they <laughs> but they just feed him so for him to grow that big. That is ridiculous. I, mean. I don't know. He's still like 20 years away from his prime. I too. mean, really? And he's, <laughs> exactly. he's huge. Uh, what's the... Uh, What's the story on Roanoke? What are you thinking for Friday night? Well, they have uh, gotten off to a slow start this season. Um, but, you know, that's a good team. They've got good leadership, and I think it's just a matter of time before they start to turn it around. Um, they've been in a lot of close games that haven't gone their way, and they beat us in our only game earlier this season. I think it ended in, was it an overtime or a shootout loss against shootout, them? It was a shootout, yeah. So we played them once this season. It was close, went to a shootout, and we'll see what happens Friday. All right, and then Saturday night, Faith and Family Night, uh, Mayhem taking on Birmingham. What's your thoughts on that one, Alex? Yeah, Birmingham, they uh, actually just lost to Quad City last night um, in Pelham. Birmingham, well, I guess that's not Birmingham technically, but it's just outside of it. But, um, yeah, they're they're always a tough team. Um, I think we, we ended up beating them earlier this season when we played them. This is the second week of the year, so uh, it's been a while since we faced them, but also, you know, Jamie Hicks, great coach. He really took the league by storm last year. They went all the way to the President's Cup championship game. It's just their second season last year. So, um, you know, they also, I don't think, have gotten off to the start that they wanted. So they're going to come into our building hungry for sure. All right. Seven o'clock puck drop on Saturday night. I'll be your in game host yeah. for Friday and Saturday. Sean, thanks for being here, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me. Congrats on a big game. Congrats on a big weekend. Yes. To the mayhem. Looking forward to this weekend. And don't forget, line change has been moved this week to Wednesday, Wednesday. night. That's 6 right. p.m. 6 o'clock, Creek Stage at the Rookery. Yeah. Now, we need to discuss what we're going to do uh, for the next couple of weeks after that because, you know, holidays. Yeah. It's going to be a ghost town, out, Alex. Out. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to have a line change on New Year's Eve or on, oh, no. or, or, Christmas, or, or, Eve. Or on Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah. I yeah. wouldn't advise it. I don't think they're going to be heavily <laughs> attended if we do. No. no. I'm just saying. Or you don't want to. It's amateur night. You know what New Year's Eve is. <laughs> but uh, shout out to. Uh, to uh, head coach Ryan Michael yeah. right now doing a great job yes. with the team. So, mm-hmm. fantastic. Um, let's see. Let's play this. I guess we're done, yeah, Alex. That, that <laughs> Alex Van Coito, the voice. From Alex Van Coito, the voice. He also voice. plays this Alex at the Van end Coito, of a romantic evening. Voice. 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 Like I said, you know, strobe voice. lighting voice. and everything. Voice. It's really distracting. I would think so. Here's the Marcus King band, Where I'm Headed on the Creek. <laughs>